Okay, so right here I have two different soft shells. I have the spiny soft shell right here. This is the spiny soft shell. And they have this kind of polka dot pattern on the back. And a lot of yellow and real flat. And then this is a Florida soft shell. They're a bit darker, a bit thicker, narrower shell, much darker shell. And kind of looking at them side by side, you can see a little bit of a difference. Uh, the texture on the shell is a little bit different. The spiny soft shell on this side is a bit more sandpapery, whereas the Florida soft shell has these little kind of bumps on it. And it's a lot more oval, whereas these guys tend to be a lot more circular. But other than that, they're very similar, part of the same family. They're both Apollone, and that's the family of North American soft shells. And you can see they both have stripes on the face, that long snorkel nose, and that flat leathery shell that helps them move through the water very quickly. So soft shells are very cool turtles. They're really fun to take care of. If you just have to have a lot of space and you have to have clean water, and they really like to bury into sand and gravel. So if you have all of that, you can keep a soft shell and keep it very happy. You know some of the differences, you might be wondering which soft shell is right for me. Well, you kind of got some issues with the Florida soft shell. They get so big. Even the males, I mean, they can get as big as an adult female spiny soft shell. And adult spiny soft shells can range anywhere from 15 to 20 inches. They're big turtles. Well, the Florida soft shell females get even bigger. I think the largest recorded female Florida soft shell was 90 pounds. So you're talking about a big turtle. If you're just getting into soft shells, a Florida soft shell can really be um, a lot of work. I mean, you're talking about a very potentially large turtle. So the spinies, the nice thing with them is if you get a male, you can have a male spiny soft shell and he maxes out at seven, eight inches at the most. Um, that's a fairly, fairly decent sized turtle, but not huge. And it's easy to house that guy. It's easy to feed that guy. He's not gonna be, you know, wrecking your habitat, wrecking your tank, wrecking your pond. So I always recommend male spiny soft shells. That little dude is just gonna get into that little gravel spot. He's gonna bury himself in there. He's gonna get up under that gravel where he's completely concealed and he's just gonna hide there. And the only way you'll ever know he's there is when he pokes his little head up, kind of looks around, comes up for a breath of air, and then he'll go back down. You never even know he was in there. So that's one of the things that soft shells are known for doing. And that's one of the things you need to provide uh, in a captive environment, is you need to provide that sand or that gravel for them to bury into and hide. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to share it if you want to share it, like it if you want to like it, comment if you feel like commenting. Hit that notification bell so you can see more videos like this, and I will see you next time.